the landing day, uh, almost now a full year ago, was very emotional for me, uh, and in an uh, unexpectedly as well. Um, I think in the days leading up to the landing, I was kind of numb. Uh, there's just so much anxiety associated with it that I just compartmentalized it and just carried on towards February 18th. Um, but and and I was just as nervous, I think, as everyone else, maybe more so, knowing what what was riding on a successful landing, both for, for NASA and for Mars exploration, but also for me personally. Um, you know, was I gonna have a job the next day <laughs> to come into? Touchdown confirmed. Yeah. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. And so when we, when I heard about the successful landing and I was at home with my family and my young kids, which was actually really nice to be able to share that moment with them, I felt such a release, re release and relief at successfully having landed Perseverance on Mars. And I thought, okay, now it really begins for us. And um, the public often engages for the big events like the, the launch of, of rovers or the landing of rovers. But for those of us on the science and operation teams, landings are really when the work begins for us. And so we had this moment of celebration, but then we had a couple of hours and then we had to begin uh, operations and, and telling the rover how to prepare itself and, and to do its work on the surface of Mars. Once we got through our characterization phase or commissioning phase, it was um, very exciting to see you know, this, this portion of Mars. Uh, as somebody who's been on Mars missions in the past, you know, that, that first image of you know, what is the landscape? And in our case, you know, where we landed and being able to look up and across over to where we knew we still wanted to go, um, but then also have this local area that we could explore um, was also very exciting and different. One of the things that definitely surprised us um, was the acquisition of that first sample, yeah, hands down. We had spent um, years, you know, making sure that we built a sampling system that could perform autonomously and end to end with, you know, thousands of different of commanded steps that needed to work perfectly and do all of that. Um, all in one uh, one day of a of one solve a Martian day. When we got the data down and we saw that we had a sealed sample, we couldn't be more ecstatic. It worked.
year one was focusing on exploring the crater floor. And uh, we spent quite a, a, a period of time um, finding different regions um, within the crater floor and even um, going and using our helicopter as a scout um, to preview um, some of the areas that we may want to explore further. Uh, and, and that's been really exciting and it's been really successful. Uh, year two um, will now be focusing on a new region, more of the Delta. And uh, coming up here um, as we close on our first year, we will en embark on a campaign where we will just pedal to the metal, essentially drive uh, to this Delta location. Uh, in order to get there, we're, we're backtracking a little bit from what we've explored already. And then we have a, a path um, that we've charted, which would take us, you know, a, a month or so um, to get over out um, to the Delta. So that'll be exciting. <laughs>